During this tour, we would like to show you around some of the core functionality and features of NetRequest. First of all, NetRequest is a fully internet-based, computer-aided facility management program, or CAFM program. All you need to securely access your project is an internet-based PC, along with your user ID, password, and the launch application. Because of this, you can access your building information from just about anywhere. With NetRequest, all of your buildings become interactive floor plans that use easy-to-understand picture icons that you can attach any type of information to instead of architectural symbols. No more spending hours or days searching for information or documents. It's all in one place. NetRequest also comes with an unlimited user license, so you don't have to worry about the number of people or departments that you want to give access to. You can even allow your outside vendors, suppliers, or even police and fire departments to access your project. You also have complete control over what each person or department has access to. You can restrict access to just certain buildings, certain information, as read-only, all the way up to allowing full access with full editing rights. It's completely flexible. The real power behind NetRequest and what makes it unique in the marketplace is that NetRequest is completely database driven. This allows you to track, search, and query on information in the system. We start each project by drawing the base floor plans that you are currently looking at and the base roof plans of all of your buildings into NetRequest. We construct this part of your project by working from your blueprints and or CAD drawings. Our goal is to make sure that the buildings are as accurate and up-to-date as possible. Once completed, these base drawings will act as the foundation of your project. Your NetRequest project has space intelligence. Everything in the drawing knows exactly where it is located. When you click on the room number and move it to a different area, the text is automatically updated. Same with the square footage text. NetRequest is able to change the location information because it's pulling the information from the database. Anytime you need to change any information in your project, you'll make the changes in the database and it's instantly changed in your drawings. If you would like to see the square footage of an area, just click on the rooms and the database will give you the pertinent information about those rooms. Click Total button and NetRequest gives you the total square footage for those rooms. Once your base floor and roof plans are completed, your NetRequest project is fully functional and ready to start tracking your information through what we call layer sets. Because NetRequest is database driven, layer sets can be set up to track just about anything. You can set up life safety layer sets for fire exiting plans, emergency shutoff locations, safe harbor areas, tornado shelter areas, entrance designations. Emergency equipment layer sets that could include emergency alarms and controls, smoke detector locations, fire extinguisher locations, AED and first aid locations. Zoning layer sets include housekeeping zones, air handling unit zones, fire alarm zones. Asset layer sets for tracking anything from computers to full room setups. Environmental layer sets such as asbestos tracking, radon testing, lead in water testing. Capital planning layer sets for space classification, capacity plans, roof age, building age, flooring types. All the way up to layer sets for plumbing, electrical, HVAC. You can even set up the same type of tracking for the exteriors of your buildings with site plans, including hardscape, plowing maps, and underground features like tanks or utility lines. As you probably noticed, the layer sets use picture icons instead of architectural symbols. This makes the information being displayed in the layer set instantly recognizable. All of the icons are independent of each other. They can contain its own individual information or common information, and they have space intelligence.
As we demonstrated earlier with changing the room information, Net Request is completely database driven. All of the icons can have database table information attached to them. Let's look at this pull station. When we click on the icon and then go to the database button in the toolbar, Net Request shows you all of the tables that are attached to it. This is a listing of all the different types of tables that can be attached to icons. If you open the Assets table, you can track pertinent information about the object, including asset category, asset type and name, manufacturer, make, and model. The Asset Lifecycle table allows you to track additional information, including install date, age, estimated life, and estimated replacement date, replacement cost, replacement date, add in an inflation factor along with other life cycle information. The Asset Lifecycle table is a very powerful tool for doing capital expenditures. The database tables also contain the space intelligence information. Here we can see that this pull station is located in room A101 vestibule. If you move this pull station to room 113 and then look at the asset table again, you can see that the location also changed to room 113 math. Everything in the drawings always know exactly where it is located. As NetRequest is database driven, searching for information is very intuitive. Here you're looking at an electrical outlet and panels layer set. If you select any of the icons, you'll see that there is an electrical panel breaker info table that can hold all of the information relating to those outlets. You can also search on information from any of the tables. If you wanted to locate all of the outlets that were connected to breaker number 25, simply go to the search function on the toolbar, select the electrical panel breaker information table, select the breaker number field, and tell the application you want it to equal 25. Net Request will highlight all of the outlets that are connected with breaker number 25. You can now go back to the database and view table information of the selected items. You can search within any of the tables to run reports based on one of your buildings, a group of specific buildings, or all of your buildings. In addition to being able to attach table information to the icons, you can also attach any type of file or document to the icon. This is done through the Net Request Document Link function. The files can be PDFs, photos, videos that you create, downloaded materials, Word or Excel documents, parts lists, user guides. Just about anything that you can store in your PC can be attached to a single icon, groups of icons, or all of the same icon in the drawing. There's no more hunting through three ring binders or filing cabinets to find the document that you need. It's all in one place. Again, if you move the icon to a new location, all of the attached documents linked to the icon get moved along with it. Here's an example of a layer set that was created to organize all of the blueprints in the building. Each colored section represents a different addition that was done to the building and an icon was added for each area of blueprints for those sections. Using the document link, the corresponding blueprints were then attached to the icons, making it quick and easy to find. If anyone ever needs a copy of the blueprint, just launch it and email it from the file section. Most people can understand information much easier if it's supported with the use of color to differentiate variables. Being database driven, NetRequest has the ability to visually enhance the information you want to view. You can instantly add color to your information by associating color codes to your data. A good example of this is with the asbestos layer set. This layer set shows the results of different asbestos testing that was done throughout the building. Each icon represents an asbestos sample that was tested. If we look at the asbestos table for three samples from room 116, we can see that pertinent information on those three samples and the results of asbestos-containing material 
or ACM, was present. In this case, one of the three samples contained asbestos. With the color code functionality, you can assign colors to this information. Once attached to the layer set, you will see that all of the icons with samples that contained asbestos now turned red, and the samples that did not contain asbestos turned green. Color coding is a very powerful part of the application. It makes it much easier to visually relay and understand information from the database. We hope that we were able to give you a better understanding of some of the flexibility, the tracking, and the control of your building information that you can have with NetRequest. By being internet-based, you can securely access your building information from just about any PC with internet access. Plus, there's no internal server space or server hardware that you need to contend with. NetRequest also does not limit you with the number of people that you want to have access to your project. The unlimited user license allows you to give access to any person, department, vendors, or first responders that you want and control the information that they have access to. We showed you some examples of just a few of the types of layer sets and tracking that you can do. Because NetRequest is completely database driven, the types of layer sets and tracking is endless. Other layer sets can include, but are not limited to, asset layer sets, daylight areas, doors along with door and keying information, emergency contact information, employee information, lighting, locker locations, security camera locations, and angles. NetRequest is a system that keeps growing and evolving with time. This short walkthrough highlights just some of the core features and functionality of our NetRequest application. If you would like to have a more thorough demonstration of why so many institutes are turning to NetRequest to help control their building information, or if you have any specific questions about NetRequest, please contact us at Advanced Planning Technologies Incorporated, 608-786-1215, sales at apt-cafm.com.